Are you applying your energy wisely? Now this question right here is another meditative question that you have to ask yourself. If you're new to the channel, my name is Excel Carskillo. Welcome to the Anto High community, the Anto High family. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. Press that button right now so you don't miss anything that's offered on this channel. We talk about Reiki, energy medicine, ascension, and so much more. So energy work or energy in general, is like money. How are you applying your energy? That's a major like clue that comes to you when you start analyzing this and you start looking at your patterns. Because a lot of times people are like, oh, I wanna become super rich or I wanna become a millionaire, for instance, right? But they're not doing anything with their energy to get closer to that manifestation, right? Like uh, a person who wants to become a millionaire is gonna start looking at their own personal energy like money. How are you spending your energy to get closer to that manifestation? Are you researching stocks and crypto? Are you um, getting into real estate? Are you getting into other things that could start making you passive income it takes a uh, concentrated force from you to be able to get the things that you want and this goes across the board with everything sometimes people are like oh i would like to really meet the love of my life but how are you applying your energy to meet that person right or run into that person are you opening up your heart center are you opening yourself up to having more uh, heart-based conversations with people are you going places where you can meet people because if you want to run into your significant other and you're always at home watching Netflix by yourself there's you're not spending your energy correctly to be able to get that manifest right and a lot of times people want just like their manifestation to just come out of nowhere and just drop onto them without them putting any considerable effort towards it right so you have to constantly come back to this question especially when you feel stuck when you feel lost how are you applying your energy and what does that say about you sometimes when you when you ask this question for yourself you can then come to this conclusion of saying okay well I really want this one manifestation, but I'm not willing to put in any of the energy to get that manifestation. So it gives you the opportunity to then think, maybe I don't really want this manifestation at all, right? And you can then start being more authentic with yourself. Everything that has to do with the fifth dimension, 5D energy, with that comes down to ascension, is all about you being authentic with yourself okay and sometimes people say oh yeah well this has to do with you know your ego being crushed or transcending your shadow those are parts of finding your authenticity it's not that you have a direct enemy in your reality it's more so how are you applying your consciousness to create the things that you want to have the things that you want and sometimes our consciousness does get trapped right it gets trapped in a, in a repetitive loop thinking about things from the past regrets that we may have but what can we do about those regrets? We can only learn from them using our energy wisely to learn from those experiences and then changing our approach towards the future so that we can then start creating the things that we really want out of our lives, right? So you have to constantly be asking yourself, am I applying my energy wisely and this goes across the board in terms of even your your reiki business if you have a reiki business or an energy healing business alternative healing business of any sort and you're asking yourself you know why am i getting these clients that are super difficult or they're always gaslighting me or they're always taking advantage of me you need to come back to this this self-analysis of like how am i applying my energy and am i applying it wisely if you normally have a slot of 60 minutes for a client for instance and you're always going 90 minutes 30 minutes over your 60 minute slot and then you're always wondering why it is that a lot of your clients just don't care about your time in general is because you have applied your energy to send a message to your clients that says my energy isn't that important when it comes to time you're not applying your energy wisely to make boundaries that can help you succeed in general okay and a lot of times people are like oh well it's my job to just be there for everyone at every at every moment whenever they reach out to me that's not true especially when you're like one of those reggae healers that tries to have a really um, profound relationship with every client that you have a lot of those clients will message you at midnight they'll message you on your weekends they'll message you on days off and if you're responding to these people and you're you're violating your own energy ethics 
who's going to obey those ethics, right? You need to be able to say, okay, on the weekends is wise for me to recharge and not converse with anybody in terms of energy medicine or anything like that so I can get to the next level, right? And that's like one of the most powerful things that has really changed not only my life, but a lot of my students that I work with one-on-one is to have this new process of asking yourself really profound questions and then refining your identity. Your ego is not the enemy. Your ego is just a, a character that can be reshaped to be a benefit to you. Your ego is something that when you get your ego to start meditating and contemplating what it really wants out of its life, the both of you, your higher self and your ego can work together to create a manifest that is super, super huge and beautiful. But you have to allow yourself to sit in this vibration and ask yourself, am I applying my energy wisely? Am I using it to actually build more of myself? And sometimes asking yourself this question is looking at your habits. Like, are you smoking weed every morning? Which then makes you really lethargic. And then you don't end up going after the things that you want because things look bigger than what they are, right? You changed your mindset, therefore it's self-sabotaging you. Are you somebody who is always willing to drop everything just to hang out with your friends when your friends message you? Sometimes that's not wise in terms of your energy application because it's gonna take away from you getting to your next goal. Sometimes sacrifices are part of you reanalyzing your energy that says, okay, between nine and six, I'm not gonna hang out with my friends even if my friends message me at three o'clock and I'm on my lunch break because I know it's gonna somehow turn into a four hour hangout and I'm going to misuse my energy when I could be using that energy to create the reality that I really, really wanna live in. So this is just another powerful, powerful mantra, meditation question that you can think about. You can journal it. You can record yourself talking about it. You can meditate on it. You can do group work with people as well. And you need to even be able to ask your clients this kind of question is, you know, how are you applying your energy wisely? Especially if a, if a client comes to you and is like, I don't know how to get clarity in my reality. Well, how are you applying your energy to get more clarity? I'm not. Let's create a plan or um, a methodology, breath work, an energy healing course, something that is gonna get that person on track. Because the way you allow your energy to just flow in general is what's gonna come back to you. And a lot of times people feel scatterbrained or they're being pulled in all these different directions is because their energy isn't being applied wisely. They're letting their energy go everywhere instead of saying, this is what I want and this is where I'm gonna focus all of my energy towards all right so hopefully this was super helpful if you're looking for one-on-one coaching don't forget to check out the links in the description below join our school work with me one-on-one you can definitely set up a call on that and don't forget to subscribe comment share i'll see you on the next episode send you all of my love